Tuscarawas Fold. The National Weather Service out of Cleveland says the Tuscarawas River will rise and excessive runoff may result in... Hi everyone. So today I'm doing a thrift store challenge. I wasn't quite sure this morning what I'd end up doing today. Made some soap this forenoon and then this afternoon I decided to go visit a thrift store and sometimes when I do this I'll challenge myself to find at least three or four items that I can bring home and redo the same day if it needs a makeover that is and that is my goal today just find maybe three or four just small pieces of furniture or decorating items something that needs a little bit of attention I take them home and then redo them and then usually I end up selling them in my booth at the antique mall so I'll take you guys with me as I go about doing this I have a fairly new thrift store that I'm going to check out today. I've never been there. I think they've been open since last August, maybe. Uh, it's called Mission Thrift. I'm really excited to see what they have. My camera kind of slid over, but I think you can see me. I did quite well in that store. I'm really impressed. I didn't get a video of everything. I ended up buying a few little pieces of furniture. Uh, very friendly people in there. They helped me load. And I didn't want to walk around with my camera uh, recording everything. It always makes me kind of uncomfortable. I feel kind of rude, I guess, to do that. trying to set up my things here in the brightest area in our house right now. Um, it's really gray and drab out there today, so lighting is not the best, but hopefully I can kind of show you what I have here. So let's take a look at these items up close. So impressed with this light. I won't be doing a thing with it. I love it the way it is, and I plan to use it in one of the cottage entryways. I think it's so pretty. And this little three-drawer cabinet I think needs a new look. It's a little bit sad looking. At this point, not quite sure what I'll do with it. And this chair caught my eye too. I really like how it sits and also the look of it, except I'm not fond of the color. Imagine I'll probably paint it. You guys know how I'm always attracted to trays. I'll probably paint this one and put some pretty wallpaper in the bottom. And the knife is for my soap kitchen. I need one to cut my shea butter with. And ah, these cups, another one of my weaknesses. You probably know what I plan to do with them. Yep, they're going to be turned into pretty little candles. Uh, I thought they're just so adorable. Um, I don't know, is it just the fact that I'm getting older, that I'm just so attracted to some of these dishes, like cut glass like this? Hopefully the camera is picking that up. I'm having a hard time focusing. It's probably the bad lighting. And last but not least is this metal stand. They called it a desk, but I would probably call it a stand. Although it could be, uh, being that there's no bar on the other side here, you could you know, slide a chair in there. So join me as I work on these fun projects and enjoy.
I plan to spray paint this little stand and it's really cold outside. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work, but my plan is to take it out on the driveway, spray it, and then put it inside the shop uh, to dry. First, I'm getting it cleaned up here. I'm planning on applying a wallpaper to the top of it, so no need to spray the full top, but the legs, uh, the braces, I'm gonna paint those. I'll get MB to help me carry this in, being that I'll probably get paint on myself if I try to do it alone. This tray is also something I wanna spray paint, just cleaning it up a bit. I'll go ahead and remove the drawers of this cabinet, uh, clean things up a bit, and I'll probably take the base part out to the shop and make things even on the bottom. Right now the cabinet is kind of wobbly, it's not setting straight on the floor. And I plan to add a wood top to the piece, so I'll look for that out in the shop. I left this audio clip in so you guys could hear the birds. The way they're singing is always that first sign of the upcoming spring season. Can't wait. I know I'm kind of jumping from project to project here, but this is kind of how I worked on these various items. As I waited for paint to dry, I'd work on something else. I ended up making the shelf for the metal stand and the top for the three drawer cabinet at the same time using the same kind of wood. It's an Aspen wood that we got at Menards. I have this pretty newspaper print wallpaper. It's actually available on the Etsy shop. I use it a lot in my projects. You guys might be tired of it, but I thought it would be so fitting to use it for the top of this stand. It's really easy to apply. You just mist it, let it set for a bit, and then put it on your surface. I always like to use a damp cloth when applying it, making sure I get all of those wrinkles smoothed out. I'm 
I'm using a satin sheen paint here. It's ultra white. It's just the paint that is off the shelf. Best look. Unfortunately, it is thinned down. I had used it in my sprayer, uh, added water to it. Uh, it should work, but I'll probably need to add maybe an additional coat uh, just to get that coverage that I need. I know the lighting's horrible in here. We have another one of those gray Ohio days, but I did give the drawers three coats of paint. Didn't get everything on video, but um, I plan to line the bottoms now. I have a pretty contact paper that I wanna use. And the cabinet is ready for the drawers and the wooden top. The last thing I want to do with this piece is apply some Andy Sloan Clear Wax to the top and then for the drawers I of course need some pulls and I just dug out some old ones that I took off a piece of furniture in the past. Plan to spray paint them white. It's probably not the prettiest pull but I think for this piece it'll work. Here I'm drilling the holes bigger for my pulls to fit. Uh, this little cabinet would look great in a crafting room to hold supplies or even in a kitchen maybe as a little coffee station. Cabinets like this are just great to fit into a small space, uh, keep things organized. I have a really pretty wallpaper that I plan to use for the bottom of my tray and this one is not available on the Etsy shop unfortunately. I had gotten it at Lowe's about a year ago I think so they may still have it but it's this pretty green and white uh, definitely very fitting for the spring season. Now there's a good chance I may ruin this chair guys but I'm gonna try to paint it uh, the vinyl part here. It needs to be lightened up I have this pretty light greenish bluish color that I plan to use and the paint I'm using is an old paint that I found down in my storage. Um, it's a Valspar cabinet paint. It says it's oil enriched. Uh, I thought maybe it's fitting to use on a piece like this. So we'll see what happens. So as I'm in the middle of painting this, I do not like it. I wonder what you guys think. I'm not really liking these gold rivets. Not quite the right word, I can't think of it right now. I'm not liking that with the brown wood and this ugly green color to me now. I think it needs to be white. So I'll give it another chance here before just giving up on it. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the whole thing white and then maybe distress some parts of the wood. Uh, see how that looks. I ended up giving this piece two coats of paint. I'll just use the Rust-Oleum spray paint. I think the sheen was maybe flat. And it actually turned out pretty good. Like I sat on it and it's not, you know, sticky or anything. Um, it seems almost weird to, you know, spray paint a surface that is upholster like this and then be able to sit on it. I'm going to go ahead and sand some of the edges, uh, see how that looks. So 
So for this chair, I know I want a French design of some kind, just a small one uh, on the back. And I'm going to apply it using a parchment paper method. Here I'm just cutting a piece of parchment paper the size of a piece of copy paper, 8.5 by 11 inches, to fit into my printer. And then I'll print the image out in reverse. That way, if I apply it, it'll be you know the right way. And in this case, I'm actually using a word, the word Paris, so definitely important to have it in reverse. I went on the Graphics Fairy website to get my design, and I've talked about her before. Uh, you can go on there and find almost anything, especially designs that go with you know your French country decorating, uh, shabby chic, farmhouse type. I get questions sometimes about this transferring method. I have an inkjet printer, that is what I'm using here, uh, printing it on parchment paper. And if your parchment paper doesn't want to go through your printer because it's so thin and it's kind of hard to get it to you know, not jam up, I will sometimes tape a piece of parchment paper onto copy paper uh, just to get it through. You can take any hard object to rub this onto your surface. In this case, I'm using the end of a marker. And it's a little bit tricky to hold this in place, being that my surface isn't completely flat. After the ink is dried, I want to give it a coat of, in this case I have chalked matte clear uh, top coat. It'll protect it um, so it doesn't come off. I'll probably spray paint the full back part. That way I don't, I don't have just one little spot that I applied this to and then it looks different from the rest. We have a cold 19 degrees this morning, so I'll definitely need to bring this inside to dry, but I've learned I can spray paint if it's cold like this. I got Amy to pour wax into these cups for me. Rosemary sage is the scent. It smells so good. It definitely is reminding me of summer. I can't wait to burn this. This chair is actually really, really comfortable. I'm tempted to keep it. I was thinking I'd sell it, but I think it looks really good in here, so we'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I sure had a lot of fun working on these projects. A few things I wanted to mention before ending here. First of all, those candles, aren't they the most adorable thing ever? I'm so impressed with them. I now wish I would have gotten all of those clear cups. They did have more there in the thrift store, uh, different designs, but they would have looked great with some white wax poured into them. But I always wanted to tell you guys, if you do miss out on buying something, because in this case, I only have nine of them and they're probably gonna be sold in a matter of minutes. So if you miss out, make sure to keep an eye out for that listing because often what will happen is, in this case, I may end up going over to that thrift store and getting the rest of those cups and relisting some more. And also with some of our wood things that we make, uh, that sometimes happens, like we'll calculate kind of how many items we're able to get out of this piece of wood or whatever and we miscalculate and we actually have, which is good, we often have more than what we had anticipated. 
So we'll you know, add a few more to the listing later on, you know, after it's been sold out. So always keep an eye out for those listings. The tray that I showed you uh, with the candles, uh, just a small wooden tray, it's so cute. John ended up finding some more wood. A guy had some cut off pieces he didn't want anymore. So he took those home and turned them into these cute little trays. Uh, in this case, they're cherry. The first ones were maple. So cherry always has a tendency to be more on the reddish side. So I retook the pictures just to make sure you guys can see uh, that they're not quite as brown as those first ones were, but they're really beautiful, I think. And that is another listing that may end up being you know, sold out. Uh, we may end up relisting some of those trays. So keep an eye out for that if you miss them because they're really cute. That perfect decoration to stick in with the grouping kind of goes with anything. I love the natural wood. And then the other thing I wanted to mention quickly is I have some more soap in stock. I'm so excited. I've talked about this before on here, how I started making soap. I have my cousin Susie helping me and together we are making soap as fast as we can, just small batches. And I love this soap. I hope you guys do too. Let me know what you think about it. But I do have a new batch that is cured and ready to go. And I think we're gonna have to come up with a system. Right now we're thinking of maybe the 15th of every month, we would have a new batch of soap available. That way, if I don't get you know to mention it in my videos, you can always count on that if you're looking for homemade soap. Uh, just check out my Etsy shop the 15th of every month and there should be a new batch of soap up and ready to go. So enough about all that. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. As many of you know, I publish a video every Wednesday at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified when I publish a video because sometimes I will publish one in between my Wednesday ones. As always, I hope you're having a great day. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.